The episode starts with a mysterious person dragging Sergio, who turns out to be alive as he struggles before being knocked out. Meanwhile, Alan grieves over Dorian's body that is bagged up and placed in the snow along with the other dead ones. Afterwards, he snarls at Daniel to find Sergio soon. Inside, Alan insists on going to level R and retrieving Julia as well as talking to Haddock. However, Daniel doesn't allow him to go to the isolation area by pointing a gun at him and informs that Haddock is busy with some other important stuff. Down at level R, Julia's condition worsens when she starts to hallucinate a little girl with a doll and also Peter. Although Julia is aware it's her hallucination, she talks to the girl after being insulted by hallucinatory Peter. But, when the girl turns around with the black mucus in her mouth, Julia wakes up, revealing it was not her hallucination, but a dream. Despite Daniel's restraint, Alan tells Sarah that he's going to get Julia anyhow because she's an expert about RNA and the viral splicing and they need her desperately. Although they are unaware about the current condition of Julia, they decide to take the risk and search for her. Meanwhile, Alan gives some pills to Sarah, asking her to take those for her migraines and not morphine. A deteriorated Julia stumbles around the room and gets anxious after watching herself being fully infected in the mirror. Then, she checks on Haddock's wound and is shocked to see it almost healed. When he wakes up, Julia gets mad at him for not telling about her hallucinations. Haddock explains himself saying Julia was disoriented and speaking to hallucinatory Jay seemed to help her. Just then, they hear a woman screaming outside for help. While Julia rushes to open the door and help, Haddock stops her until she collapses after having a seizure. Elsewhere, Alan uses Thermite to make a way to enter level R so that he and Sarah can retrieve Julia. When they find that the isolation area is locked, Alan starts to cut the chain. Just then, they are approached by the infected ones who break the window. One of them gets hold of Sarah and tries to spit the black mucus into her mouth until Alan cuts off his hand and frees Sarah. Since it's not safe there, they immediately go back. In the meantime, Haddock injects Julia with something he calls a sedative and assures her that she'll be fine. When she falls asleep, Haddock goes back to the upper part of the base through his secret passages. Next, Sergio wakes up cuffed to a bed at Anana's house. She is a police officer and is the one who dragged Sergio from the snow. When Sergio tries to reach for a blade to break free, Anana smacks him. Turns out she wants to learn about what's going inside Abs. Also she queries about the missing children, which Sergio is unaware of. Back in the lab, Alan and Sarah discover that the virus is used as a delivery mechanism to the cells. When Alan notices that Haddock is back, he grabs him and asks what's in the virus. Haddock reveals that the virus is supposed to deliver a cure for cancer, but they've perfected it yet. Soon, Alan realizes that the virus only made Peter sick, but what changed him is the gene therapy inside the virus. However, Haddock refuses to have introduced any gene therapy. When Alan storms off saying he'll find more about the virus, Daniel finally asks Haddock about what's going on. But, Haddock brushes it off saying it doesn't concern Daniel. After Daniel tells Haddock about Sergio, Haddock loses his temper and slaps Daniel. He is scared that Sergio's employers will come to abs if Sergio doesn't check in. Downstairs, Julia wakes up hallucinating again in a cabin with Peter and the little girl. After Julia talks to the girl, it is revealed that the girl is young Julia and the cabin is from Montana, where Julia spent her summers with her mother. In the laboratory, Sarah and Alan perform the same tests as Doreen and soon observe the rapid growth of the virus that spreads and covers half a table. However, Alan manages to stop it by spraying a fire extinguisher. That's when they realize that cold slows down the virus. So, they decide to put ice bags on Peter, but it isn't enough and they need something colder. When Sarah remembers about a scientist named Victor at Abs working on cryotherapy, Alan visits him. In exchange for getting him out as soon as possible, Victor agrees to use the cryotherapy on Peter. It is basically using extreme cold to freeze and remove abnormal tissues. Victor shows his experiment with the floating rats to Alan. Elsewhere, Sergio tries to grab Anana which ends badly and painfully for him. She drags him into the side room and shows him pictures of 31 kids who have gone missing around abs over the last two decades. Afterwards, when alone, Sergio manages to free himself and sees Daniel hugging Anana outside the window. When he grabs a knife and attacks Daniel, Anana points a gun at Sergio. Surprisingly, the man isn't Daniel, but Tolok, Anana's brother. As she cuffs Sergio again, she explains that Tolok's twin brother, Mixa, disappeared when he was four. Apparently, Daniel is Mixa. In the following scene, Julia hallucinates about having dinner with Alan, Sarah, Peter, Sergio, and Haddock. All of them blame Julia for getting them into the mess. Although Julia seems to have answers about why all this is happening, she can't remember it. When Julia carves the turkey, the black mucus oozes, making Julia frightened. But, other hallucinatory ones are laughing hard. 
Meanwhile, with Victor's help, Peter is immersed into the cryo fluid. Although Peter appears to drown initially, he is stable in a while, making Alan hopeful that he might find a cure. Outside, Haddock is spying on them and tells Daniel that the CDC seems to have a breakthrough. Then, Daniel apologizes to Haddock and takes him outside the base to find Sergio's body. While they realize that Sergio has been taken by someone, some helicopters fly in, making Haddock terrified. The helicopters have Valeria Corporation written on them. When there's an announcement inside the base about the incoming fight, Sarah gets happy thinking the cavalry's here. However, Alan gets curious because he reveals he never got a chance to call them. In level R, Julia wakes up from her hallucinating dream and surprisingly doesn't show any signs of infection at all. However, her eyes have turned silver and unnatural, just like headaches. She clutches her head and cries in pain. Next we see, the helicopter squads enter abs and are introduced by Haddock as his corporate patrons. A lady named Constance introduces herself as the chief operating officer of the Ilaria Corporation, the parent company of abs. Furthermore, she claims that she is here to help the CDC find the cure. Alan asks Constance to re-establish the satellite so that he can communicate with the CDC. However, she points out that she can't help with that right now as her helicopter has already left and will return only after two days. Then, Alan also asks her to help him retrieve Julia because she is the only person who can figure out the RNA changes of the virus that leads to the cure. And, Consants agrees. Although Consants seemed sugar-coated in front of Alan, she shows her true self when alone with Haddock. She throws a book at him then grabs him by the throat, saying all they needed were two things from Haddock, virus and its cure. Since the CDC is working hard to find the cure, she says she's ready to help them. However, once the cure is found, she mentions killing everyone, CDC, Haddock's employees, in order to wipe out all the witnesses. Also, she asks about NARVIKB, which Haddock claims to be an alternate attempt at the virus because the care has been elusive in a strain. Turns out NARVIKB that changing humans was not a part of Valeria Company's plan. Meanwhile, Alan and Sarah discuss that they can't trust consents. Despite the CDC already fixing things for free, why are the expensive private armies sent? So, Alan and Sarah are suspicious that Consance's allegiance is to her bottom line. The two of them decide to not tell it to Constance even if they find a cure. Downstairs, Julia seems to recover. She checks herself in the mirror and every lesion is gone. Also, she tests her blood, which has now turned back to red. However, she has silver eyes and gets flashes with unbearable headaches. Later, Consance asks Daniel about Julia because she doesn't trust Haddock to tell her everything. But, Daniel being loyal to Haddock, doesn't say anything. Back to Inanna and Sergio, they are traveling on their snowmobile towards Abs. That night, they decide to stay at a camp, where Sergio asks to untie his hands. Irritated, Inanna hogties him. Although Julia stops her headaches by blindfolding her eyes, she's still hallucinating about Peter. Now, she wants to go upstairs as she believes that she might have some necessary antibodies in her blood helpful for the cure. Inside his office, Haddock is busy looking at Julia's photographs, until he is reported by Daniel that Consance is trying to manipulate him against Haddock. Hearing this, Haddock warns Daniel that she can be very dangerous, and asks him to not let her reach Julia. When Daniel asks what's so special about Julia, Haddock brushes him off. Also he mentions that he only cares about Julia and gives a damn about the cure for the virus. Next day, Consance and Alan have an argument when Alan insists on going to level R to retrieve Julia. After he threatens that without Julia, there's no progress of the cure, Consance allows him to join her and her armed associates. Meanwhile, Daniel sees Sergio and Anana outside abs from his surveillance camera. When the two of them enter inside, Anana hugs Daniel. Sergio tries to attack Daniel but the guards stop him. Although Inanna explains to Daniel that he's her brother and shows him Tolok's photograph, Daniel claims it's photoshopped. Next, blindfolded Julia tries to figure out a way to get out, but an infected lady breaks through the door trying to attack Julia. Surprisingly, the infected one runs in terror when she sees Julia's silver eyes flashing. Inside Haddock's office, Constance finds Julia's photos and information secretly hidden in Haddock's drawer. Although Haddock tries to dismiss it as a file for recruitment and states that she's unimportant, Consance doesn't believe him. She mentions she'll find Julia and decide herself if she's important or not. As she reminds Haddock which side he's on, she removes her contact lenses, revealing she also has silver eyes. After she leaves the room, Haddock enters his secret passage. Afterwards, Constance and her team, along with Alan prepare to go to level R. Constance gives a gun to Alan for his safety. Meanwhile, Alan sees Sergio and pursues him aggressively. But, the guards stop him. While Constance promises to deal with Sergio for Dorian's death, she asks Alan to focus on the cure. Left alone with Sergio, Constance smacks him for killing Dorian. 
who was useful in finding a cure. She reveals that while Ilaria is paying Sergio for the virus and cure, Constance is paying him for proof that Haddock has gone off the rails. When Sergio protests and blames her for creating the mess, she hits him again and surprisingly kisses him. Despite that affection, she asks the guards to take Sergio into isolation because she doesn't want to expose the truth to Alan. Soon, Haddock makes his way to Julia, who is panicked and confused. When Haddock sees Julia's silver eyes, he gets shocked and bandages her eyes. While doing so, he starts to cry. Then, he warns Julia they have to leave because Consans is coming to kill her. Although Julia protests that Alan would never allow that, Haddock convinces her anyhow. Later, Alan, Constance and her men arrive at level R and make their way through the quarantined corridors. Shortly, they are attacked by the infected ones, killing a few men of Consans. Luckily, Alan, Consans and the remaining soldiers manage to get behind a metal gate. Alan insists on finding Julia so Constance points a gun at him and orders him to go back. When he tries to call her bluff, Consance threatens to kill Sarah as well. Elsewhere, Daniel talks to Inanna and sees more pictures from his childhood. Inanna tells him about the 31 children abducted by Haddock over the past two decades. Daniel reveals that there have always been children at the base which he thought was normal but they all disappeared and he doesn't know where and how. When Haddock takes Julia to his office, they run into Daniel and Anana. Daniel, who seems to have believed Anana, asks his security team to take Julia back to the laboratory. Before Julia is taken, Haddock gives her a box, which turns out to be contact lenses to hide her unnatural eyes. Upon reaching the lab, Julia stares at the lenses curiously, but doesn't put them on. Meanwhile, Alan arrives and hugs her, amazed to see her cured. He notices Julia lowering her eyes and asks her to look at him. Julia's silver eyes make him shocked and speechless. At the end of the episode, the infected ones break through the ceiling and enter at another part of the base. Subscribe and hit that like button to help our channel grow. Turn the notifications on so you won't miss any of our new videos. Thanks for watching.